What this is, is those chest harness that people carry for, for radio. But I always carry that one on me. Uh, so it's always either, so my pack doesn't al alter it. And because uh, this is basically what we carry. Uh, we have like a full jacket and stuff. And um, in that kit, that's where my survival kit is. So for whatever reason, if I get separate from my kids, or let's say I go to a, a victim or something like this, I always have a kit with me. And um, so what it has in it is basically a small survival kit. Uh, so it has like a refractive mirror, a, uh, a blanket. It has some scissors as well. It has the uh, Huntman's um, SAK, which I talk about. And um, some fire tender. And another kit here, so that if I need to bandage someone quickly, and I have my uh, my my pacing beads on Hornet as well. So we use a lot of the pacing sometimes. Well, we have GPS, but sometimes GPS don't work when you have too much coverage in the trees and so a lot of time we have to calculate how much distance we did uh, to know like you know where we are and how much coverage we did so to know that we coverage the right area so we're going to calculate our pace um, so in the kit uh, in the um, my, uh, my on me as well I have a few items as well as my uh, my compass and clothes and stuff and, so we were like, uh, uh, and carry a pair of gloves as well. They're kind of, they're good for ropes. They're awesome. Um, they work very good. They're very comfortable. I really like them. Um, so the other kit that we carry, and so uh, because we uh, work in, live in Calgary, we have kind of sometime urban search. Uh, urban search, obviously, you wouldn't need all that stuff. I'm talking more for lost victims in, in the mountains. Um, if you do an urban search, you don't really need all that gear. So what we need to do, and you still need to do, so what kind of search can you do in urban? Uh, Alzheimer person that got lost in the city will be called for those. Uh, there's a crime scene, and they need to find either evidence and stuff. So an evidence search will go for that as well. Uh, so for those ones, we need to carry less equipment, but still some good equipment. So basically, this there's all kind of different. And there's a difference between urban search and re well, urban search and rescue and urban rescue. Uh, urban rescue is more like collapsing building and stuff, and this is totally another subject. This one is more like search and rescue around um, search and rescue as more search than the rescue part of it. Uh, again, bags for evidence, uh, a few uh, fighting tapes as well. Uh, so this one basically it's just like a fanny pack. Um, carry a little bit of gloves and cleaning. <laughs> the cleaning part is really important because sometimes you dive in a place that you don't really want to dive into so you want to clean. Um, pair of scissors again in case that uh, we do have to provide some first aid um, and the uh, flashlight this is uh, it's called a stealth light it's pretty cool there's a mechanism so it doesn't open ultimate so you have to you have to pull on this and then you get the uh, the light it's pretty uh, pretty bright I like it um, and that's pretty much it for a uh, urban search as well as one thing that we carry 
uh, and it gets his uh, knee pads because uh, sometimes you'll have to get on your knees either like if you do rope rescue so you need to get on your knees for whatever reason or um, especially in urban sometimes you have to look on their uh, uh, on their houses and th stuff like that so uh, that's the one for this one um, and then in my uh, like I was saying in the jacket I have a, a few uh, few items, uh, flashlights, uh, glass, safety glasses, uh, notepad. I'm going to talk a little bit about the notepad because it's a cool uh, function that I bought. Um, so this is a uh, right, uh, weather right uh, note. Uh, but I bought a little uh, kit there. I forgot what the name was. Uh, from Book Range. And it was an emergency kit. And it came with like a uh, all-in-one map tool, and it's whole kind of bunch of like conversions, calculation, uh, grid square calculation, um, changing like you know numbers so you can give UTMs and stuff. Uh, it's it's uh, it comes with a uh, longitude rulers. Uh, what else did it come with? And I'll put the website under the page here. Um, it came as well with a uh, emergency procedure, so helicopter landing zone, uh, SOS signals and numbers, and um, how to set up an LZ, um, LZ for land landing zone, and. Um, the Morse code, ground air sim symbols, bunch of numbers as well, where to call, uh, right at the bottom here. So it's kind of an international stuff. So they had, there was a cool, uh, cool a few things in the kit there when I bought it. Um, and the other thing too to carry in here is a tracker card. And so basically, when you do human track, uh, we use this. So we kind of designed the. Um, I took my level one last year. It was pretty fun. Um, so you calculate the, uh, you, you kind of do the design of what the shoe looks like, and uh, the dimensions, the surface, what time you saw that, um, how how much length did you have, the the, the stride, the gait, um, everything. So, so this is pretty much what I carry on me. When I do a search, and obviously, if I would do um, 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 rescue for like a rope, there's more uh, more equipment to it. But uh, hopefully, you guys like if pushing you pushing hopefully you enjoyed it and post questions.